Hey guys, what's up? It's Melanie. And um, I posted a status on our page saying, you know, for every like this gets, I will post a confession video. So, this is going to be confession number one. So, my first confession is, I make the weirdest faces. Yeah, so you see my point, right? Um, yeah. Confession number two. You will, you, I am probably one of the weirdest people you will ever meet because of something I just did. Um, this is my iPod. And I cracked it the, fir the third day I got it. Mm, confession <laughs> number, what is it, three? Three or four. I already lost count. In a lot of my pictures, I'm, I look like this, you know, like this, not like my hair and stuff, my outfit, but I look like this. But really, I look like this. So yeah, um, I wear glasses. And, um, I know you guys probably wouldn't expect that, except for my friends who actually, you know, know me. Um, but I wear glasses, and it's not that I wear them by choice, I just, I wear them by choice, I mean, I, I need to wear my glasses, I just don't like wearing them a lot. Confession number four. Okay, so I visited my grandpa in 2008 or 2010, something like that, and um, we went out to dinner, and one night we came back, and he gave me this. It's a gold wedding ring, and it belonged to my grandmother, and out of all of his, like, 12 grandchildren, he decided to pick me. And when I got it, I was so happy. I was, like, very shocked that he chose me out of all of them, and I don't know why, maybe because he remind I remind him of my dad a lot, which a lot of people do, and, um, but I don't know, but whatever it is, it's very special to me, and, um, thank you, Grandpa, for giving it to me, and, um, I never take it off, so my grandmother is always with me. Confession number five. Fifth. Fifth confession is... You know how a lot of people have, like, sweet tooth teeth, or a, a sweet tooth, or whatever? I have a sour tooth, which means I love pickles. Um, I also like lemons, and I like limes. And a lot of people are like, how can you eat that? It's so bitter and disgusting, or whatever. And I don't know how to eat it. I just like them. Sixth, whatever, confession is I love the mall. I I used to go to the mall every weekend with my sister and now I don't really see her as much so I don't anymore. Like I don't really do that a lot. But I used to like live at the mall. I love the mall so much. It is so much it's so much fun there. Like even if you've been there a thousand times, which I have been, it is so much fun. Like like you know, there's always, you know, new sales and new items and you're just like, ooh, pretty. Especially my parents are separated. My mom is single. And my dad has a girlfriend. That's a confession right there. I'll do the next one, you know, whatever. Confession number eight. Okay, so confession number eight is, um, I don't know if you've heard of it yet, but um, Maroon 5's new album, Overexposed, I am, like, addicted with that album. I, I, I just like two songs out of like the 15 that are on it. I like, I, lo I love this album. It's, I don't know, it's like, it's just so amazing. And there's a couple songs on it that are like my absolute songs that I listen to every day. It's, it's an amazing album. Check it out. Confession number nine. Okay, since I don't really know what to confess for number nine, I'm going to say some things about myself. Um, my favorite colors are purple, aqua, blue, well, aqua blue, not separate, but, uh -huh, and turquoise. Um, my three best friends, like, my three top best th friends or whatever are Marissa, Natalie, and Kara, not in order. I have a pet at my mom's. Her name's Honey. I don't know where she is. I don't feel like getting her. And I have pet two pets at my dad's. Um, 
Just, by the way, that's a cat. I don't know if I said it. Um, my dad has a golden retriever named Lucky and a cat named Kitty. So creative. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it. Three more left. Okay, in the last video I said I had three best friends. Jess, you know, my other owner, she's not a friend. She's like a sister. I've known her forever. So, yeah, just putting that out, putting that out there. Oh, um, at school, I, I'm really friendly. If you couldn't have, if you couldn't tell already. I am, I'm just so friendly. I love everyone. Almost everyone. I think. I'm just trying, I always try to get people to smile and get them to be happy and stuff. I just, you know, yeah. So, I actually, this is my yearbook. This is my yearbook. This is just the front. This is the back. This is the binding. Focus. Uh, this is the inside, I swear to God. This is the inside. That's the first page of the inside. I had I had had a teacher sign it by her like, name and stuff. I had a couple um fellow students do that. So, well, some are friends, some are students, whatever. Student. Oh my God! I swear I hate some of the. Kids. It's not that I hate them. They just do the, the stupidest things ever. I swear to God. Um, like I had to have my friend do it there. Really shouldn't be showing you their names and stuff. And a friend there, and another one there. Nico there. He did that. Um. Yeah, I had a couple people do it like there and stuff. I don't know if I have it any other any like other place, but yeah. Um. I also had the back page completely filled. So, not, so, technically, it's not that I'm trying to say I'm popular or anything. It's just that I always try to get people to be happy, and I guess they like that about me, so a lot of people signed. Confession, Elia Vam. Okay, so my 11th confession, so we're so close to being done, I'm so happy, um, is there's a kid on YouTube named Damon Fizzy, I don't know if anyone has, you know, heard of him before, but if you have, comment below, saying, Peaskies, or D Fizzy, because that's his name, and that's what he usually says at the end of his videos, and this kid, besides being 100% adorable, I love this kid so much, um, he is, like, amazing. Like, he's so inspirational, and he always tries to get people to smile. I love his personality. It's always so fun and full of energy. And he's he's just such a positive ki kid. Well, he's, like, 20-something, I think, but whatever. And he's helped so many people, like, through hard times, like, he always says stay positive, and, like, stuff like that, like, like, he's helped so many people save their lives in a way, you know, if, you know what I mean, like, he hasn't saved their lives, but he's given them the hope to save their lives and stuff, and he's just an amazing kid, and I really hope I can meet him someday, I mean, he's amazing. It's finally time. The last confession. Okay, confession 13 is actually going to be about the page. And, um, originally it was supposed to be just me owning it. Jess wasn't supposed to own it until later on I asked her. And, um, I named it Teenagers Be Swaggin. Honestly, I don't know. I just felt comfortable with it. Like, teenagers, because, you know, we're teenagers. Teenagers need to... I think the teenage years are the best years of your life, Besi probably besides, like, parenting. I don't know. I don't want to know yet. Um, but, I mean, it, being a teenager means, you know, going to high school. The people, which people say are the best 
years of your life. But right now I'm in middle school, so I'll have to wait a little while for that. Um, but Teenagers Be Swaggin' is about teenagers with swag. But their swag represents who they are. It's but swag also means having your own style and being unique. And I thought this was what the page should be about, being a teenager who's unique, who can be themselves, and, you know, yeah. And I try to have the page be like that, like, to, you know, have quotes that express how teenagers usually are, and photos how, you know, teenagers usually express themselves and stuff like that. Um, I'm just so happy that you guys have liked it and that you're actually watching this video and hopefully you st stay till the end. And if you did stay till the end, like this video so I know that I'm not just talking to my computer screen for 13 minutes or 14 minutes or whatever. But yeah, Teenagers Be Swaggin is about being yourself, being unique, and just loving your life. And again, if you need any advice on, like, maybe relationships, no, I'm always here for you. If you need anything to talk about, maybe, like, suicidal thoughts or or stuff at home, I'm not going to tell anyone. You know I mean, I'm just going to always be here for you guys. And if you guys need help talking about that stuff, I am here to listen. I love you guys, and... I will do anything for my teenagers to be swagging family. So I'm going to go. Thank you for liking my status. So I'm occupied for the three hours it took to make this video with editing and stuff. And um, like I said, I love you guys. So, bye.